Hey guys, it's Tuesday evening and um, everything is going well so far on the plan, for me at least. I hope it's going well for you guys too. So, I'm just getting everything ready to make the curry for this evening. Um, it should be really quick. Um, I've adapted the recipe to make it a lot easier, less ingredients uh, than the original Slimming World recipe. A couple of minor changes. Um, I have put fresh ginger in the recipe and the notes and things and I absolutely would have used fresh ginger because I love the stuff but I totally forgot that when I went shopping on Sunday um, that Tesco doesn't sell fresh ginger that isn't in a little bag. I need a little bag of ginger and it looked rubbish you know when you can just tell it's been there ages and it's not very fresh. I prefer buying it loose because then you can just at least see it's nice and fresh. So um, I'll be using ground ginger today. So here's all my ingredients look beautifully laid out, obviously not the bananas, <laughs> it stops at the chickpeas there. So I'm just gonna flip round and show you what we're gonna use. Righty ho, so all the ingredients are a onion, a green chili, three cloves of garlic, cumin, curry powder, turmeric, and ginger. Obviously you can use fresh ginger. Two carrots, the original recipe had two courgettes, but I'm gonna use one courgette and the other half of the butternut squash from the other day. Green beans, the recipe says 200 grams. I've got the rest of this bag left and I have got another bag, so I'll probably put a few more in. I really do love green beans. Um, it said a medium potato, well, I'm using these three kind of smallish potatoes. And then a tin of coconut milk. Again, the recipe says 100 mils, but to be honest, I always use a whole tin because it's 12 cents for the tin. And uh, that makes it three a portion if you make four portions or even six, to be honest, I'll happily use that because I really love coconut milk. Um, and I don't think it's that bad, Cinny. And then a, a tin of chickpeas, I'm adding in protein, uh, a stock cube, and the juice of a lemon. So that's everything that we need right there. So I'm just gonna get chopping and sauteing, and I'll see you in two. I totally forgot to say, while you're doing the curry, you need to get cooking some rice, and you need to make enough rice for dinner tonight and lunch tomorrow. Now, I'm not a huge fan of rice for lunches, um, but, it's fine because it's gonna be mixed with other stuff and it's not like more than a day old. Like I do get funny, I always find um, rice gets really like, mealy. Um, so yeah, it's just not my favorite grain to have cold in lunch, but um, again, trying everything. The walnuts weren't too bad this morning. I didn't, I couldn't really taste them if I'm totally honest. So, um, so that's fine. So here's my cupboard in case you haven't seen it before. I love my dry goods cupboard. <laughs> Um, it looks so neat. My friend has a cry cut machine or crick up machine. And um, so I gave her some money and we made all these labels in my font. You'll see my little font that I always use on my channel. So um, yeah. So anyway, what we're gonna be having is some, um, I'm gonna do a mix of black rice, red rice and brown rice. Um, just for interest sake really. <laughs> Just for aesthetic purposes, here's my rice. Look how cool that looks. I've just managed to pour it completely in from the uh, the pans, um, the pot, sorry, into my saucepan and it's, it's gone right. But now, let's muck it up, because why not? God, it hasn't even mucked up that much. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna put this on and uh, talk to you later, bye. Righty-ho, so. I've made the curry, basically I just ended up pretty much chucking everything in as I chopped it. So that's just been bubbling away. I've just put the green beans on top because um, I've not used a big enough pan really and it's splattered everywhere which is delightful. So that's just cooking, basically they're essentially steaming I guess. Um, I'm hoping to get four portions out of this um, and then the rice is done. So I'm just leaving that to drain over the sauce for a minute. Now I'm making lunch for tomorrow at the same time. So tomorrow is this Mexican delight. How exotic sounding, but really it's a store cupboard lunch. So I'm gonna use half a tin of sweet corn, obviously some rice, um, two thirds of this tin of kidney beans in chili sauce. And we're gonna put the other third in with the five beans left from yesterday, uh, from, yeah, from last night when we prepped for today. Um, we're putting in some cumin, oregano, and smoked paprika. I'm gonna use two roasted red peppers in brine, and then it will be completed with the juice for lime. Not too happy about there not being any green stuff in here, but um, 
I forgot to buy any leaves, otherwise I would have added some spinach. But this is essentially the basic recipe that Snowing World had given. So I'm just gonna quickly put that together now while those green beans are steaming, and then I'll show you. Turns out I made too much rice. So I have a whole other portion left here, which I'll freeze actually. And then I've got tonight's ready there. That'll heat up as soon as the curry goes on it. Then this is the Mexican delight. So I've just done a bed of rice and then half a tin of sweet corn. Oh, put that down, it's really heavy. Half a tin of sweet corn, um, two thirds of a tin of kidney beans in chili sauce, two roasted red peppers chopped up, and then a load of smoked paprika with a bit of cumin and a bit of uh, oregano, sorry. And then I'll take a lime with me tomorrow. And the beans, these are the Heinz five beans in the bottom that were left from today's lunch. And then that's the rest. So it's a third of a tin each, that's two thirds of a tin of beans there. So stretched two tins to make three, whatever. Um, so that'll be for breakfast another day. I, um, I think it's on Thursday, there's beans on toast. So that is us done. So I've got half a tin of sweet corn left over. I'll have that with a salad one day. Um, just need to squeeze the lemon juice into the curry and then serve it up. Right, please ignore the carnage as always. But anyway, here's the lunch all mixed together. It looks a bit more palatable. Here's dinner. The green beans have just gone grey. <laughs> but hey ho. And then I've got three other portions of the curry. So that makes it just three sins a portion. Let's ignore the carnage. <laughs> um, I will freeze these three and I'll freeze the rice as well. So, so far we've done quite well because we've made six extra portions of food. So it's pretty much main meals for a whole other week. Happy days. Mm -hmm.